Uh, I got 25 stitches in my head. And uh, I don't know if you can get this, but it looks like a bad jigsaw puzzle. Stitched, bruised, but not broken. Retired Navy vet Jack Mills still has a lot of fight in him. He threw this table saw on top of me. He walks us through his garage turned crime scene Monday where police say Arthur Morris attacked him. This is a two pound ball peen hammer and he was I think that's what he was going to finish me off with. Mills woke up around 4 a.m. and went outside to his back patio only to find a stranger. I said, who are you? What are you doing here? He starts yelling, I, I'm your nephew. You're my uncle. Don't you remember me? The two are not related, and Morris definitely didn't treat him like family. Police suspect Morris was on drugs and say he had seven grams of meth on him. Mills says that would explain his irrational and then violent behavior. I don't want to hurt you. You seem like a nice guy while he's tying me up with an electrical cord, hitting me with a sledgehammer. So I'm not so sure how accurate that was. Mills says Morris attacked him with his own tire iron, then hit him over the head with a sledgehammer. He pushes me in the garage and I'm laying on the floor bleeding pretty good. And I, I have no strength at this point. I'm done. He says Morris tied his arms with an electrical cord and bound his legs. That's when his daughter, asleep on the couch, heard his screams for help. What's the address of the emergency? Hi, uh, I think there's someone in my house. Morgan ran out of the home and called 911. She says her ability to think fast came from years of calling for help for her mom. Her mom died a few years ago. She was sick. She had, you know, breast cancer, diabetes, multiple sclerosis. I mean, she was sick for a while, so we had to take care of her. She's beyond relieved she didn't lose her dad as they brace for a long road to recovery. Police arrested Morris at the home. He's here now booked on several felony charges. Meanwhile, Jack is recovering from a fractured skull. You saw all of his bruises. He also has some blurred vision, visibility issues, and ringing in his ears, just to name a few of the problems. We are live outside the Butler County Jail tonight. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.